Hello, Auction House aficionados, and welcome to another episode of Add-On Reviews with Nilla Wowfers. Today we're looking at the AUX add-on, A-U-X. Uh, this is basically a auctioneer on steroids. Apparently it is similar to an auctioneer um, or an auction house replacement mod for current retail uh, World of Warcraft. I have not played World of Warcraft since Mr. Pandaria, so I'm not really aware of uh, of the mod that it's uh, sort of based on. So here we go. Uh, slash aux is the only configuration interface. Uh, so it is command line only configurations. There's some cool stuff in here. Specifically, the tooltip vendor buy, vendor sell, disenchant stuff. You're going to want to take a good look at that. The interface itself for Aux is a full auction house replacement. So, as you can tell, this is not the Blizzard auction house. Uh, it does have all of the functionality, the same functionality as the Blizzard auction house, plus a lot of additional features which is why you would use it in the first place. And if there is some reason that you need to get back to the Blizzard UI, uh, there is a convenient button right here that uh, if you have a smaller font or a larger UI, that would say Blizzard UI. You click that, you get the Blizzard UI. So, um, I'm not going to do an extensive uh, how-to on this. I will link to a forum thread that, that does have an extensive how-to. I'm just going to highlight some of the, the cool things in here. There's a recent searches uh, thing where you can see I, I bought Jade for a mage class quest. In one click pulls it up. Uh, there's also saved searches. Uh, so where you can put favorites in here. So if I wanted to make Jade a favorite search because I want to keep searching for that over and over again, you just right click on it and uh, similar if you want to delete or whatever. Again, it does have an auto buy feature like Auctioneer. That's cool. Um, the search interface, if we go to filter builder, we have the full Blizzard server side filters. There's also a post filter a component over here that can further refine your search results on the client side to really hone in on what you want. So like if you, um, for instance, if I want to see only usable items, um, let's say I'm looking for some shoulders. So I've got uh, usable armor, um, for the shoulder, usable wall, take your level range, your class, all that into account. If we just search this, we'll get back everything. Um, we can also say, uh, let's see if I remember how do you do this. Uh, go in here. And search for specific items, bid percents. Disenchant Profit, which is, uh, I did not know that was there. Hmm, might need to look at that. Um, but you can also look at um, your net profit if you were to buy out and resell at, at normal historical prices. A lot of cool filters there. The thing that's most... Um, useful to me is actually in the auction posting part. So for example, I have some silk thread here or silk cloth. Just clicking on this is going to scan all of the auctions currently up for silk cloth. What it's displaying right here is the historical um, average buyout price. So I already know what my baseline is. So it shows in the results, here's the historical average. Currently, there's a bunch of junk on the market um, below the average. So if I want to, I can single click here, and it's going to set um, set my uh, sell prices to that 
historical average. If I wanted to undercut a specific person or a specific set of auctions, I just click on that particular one and you see it'll undercut it by um, as uh, as less, it'll do a, as less of an undercut as it possibly can. So this will come out to one copper less for the stack. And it highlights in red the ones that you're not undercutting. So if you want to undercut everyone on the market, you click the top, you're good to go. For, um, oh, that was, <clears throat> and it also works for like greens. It works for everything. Um, another cool thing about Auctioneer, uh, Aux, AUX, is that it will show you what things disenchant into. So you can see this has a 75% chance of disenchanting into dream dust, etc., etc. It um, remembers the historic prices of those disenchant um, reagents. It tells you what your uh, maximum profit would be on a disenchant. Um, I think, I'm not sure if that's maximum profit or if that is um, average profit or mean profit. Um, I, I probably need to read the forum thread a little better. So it also tells you what it's going to vendor for. And then the value, that is the historic value on the auction house. So I can look at this and say, well, if I disenchant it, I could probably make a gold. If I try to sell it on the auction house, I could also probably make a gold. If I vendor it, I can make an easy half a gold. So in this case, I would probably just disenchant the thing. Um, well... I mean, I'm sorry, this particular piece of, of equipment was actually given to me by a guildmate to equip at 41, so I'm not going to disenchant it. But um, if this was just a random drop that I didn't care about, I could say, hmm, is it going to be easier to try to sell this on the auction house because of their decent shoulders, or should I just disenchant it and try to do it that way? So all of this is included in aux, and... and uh, I try in these add-on videos to only load the one add-on that I'm uh, reviewing, uh, so there's no other add-ons required to get this level of detail in your tooltip. The last thing I want to point out, which can be hard for for a lot of folks to figure out at first, to, to search the entire auction house to get... Uh, to establish baseline prices and to keep refreshing those baseline prices you just hit search with an empty well have an empty search and hit search and see it's going to pull back tons of pages of stuff and it will just sit there and churn through them and and build up uh, that historic data so i'm going to let that run while i uh, do post and upload on the video that has been Aux, the auction house. Uh, as always, look in the description for links to where to get it, where to discuss it. We will see you later. Play to win.